love you to me. He's a happy family. Have a great day, Bob. This song is so copyright. You couldn't be more copyrighted if I tried. Oh, sorry. Hey guys, second hand today. I'm flipping through my notebook and let's go to the next thing. Oh, no, I'm spoiling it today. Today I have questions for my recorder. What's your name? Um, I don't know. Mr. Wagon123. You don't even know your own name. You already failed the quiz. And I asked you a question. And... Okay. These are trick. I'm just going to be reading off. And I wrote these. And they're trick questions. Like, there could be an answer, but it's really not that answer, and you get it. If you have the numbers 1 to 5, what is the middle number? What? Like, what? Let's see it again. Like, the numbers 1 to 5, like, you know the numbers 1 to 5, right? Yeah. Well, what is the middle number of those numbers? Does 0 count? No. There's no middle number? Dude, there is a middle number. 1 to 5, which one is the middle number out of those numbers? Three? Incorrect. The answer is two. I said between the numbers one to five. So one, two, five. Ha, 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 you, you should have seen your face. You got that incorrect. I'm sorry. Oh, well, there's one point off. How? You know who all this are, like when God flooded the world and then this dude had to bring animals on a ship and all that stuff, right? Yeah. Well, how many of each animal did Moses take onto a ship? Let's see that again. <laughs> how many of each animal did Moses take onto a ship? I'm confused. What? I'm confused. How are you confused? <laughs> Moses took all the animals, like, he took a certain amount of each animal and put them on the ship when the guy flooded the world. You don't know this? No. What? I don't know it. Well, the answer is none. It wasn't Moses. It was Noah. So you basically get them on the ship. On Saturday, Sackman had his 17th birthday, and on Friday, Mr. Bacon had his 17th birthday. Who is it, but who is older? If Sackman had his birthday on Saturday, and you had a birthday on Friday, who would be older then? Me. No, me. What? I'm a few months older than you in real life. You don't even know this. Are you serious? Man, you are terrible at this. Okay, this one's going to be a little tricky. Sarah, Joey, and Patty were stuck on a mountain. They were sick and tired, and they started hallucinating. They saw a broken vase and rubbed it, and a genie appeared. And they each were granted a wish. Sarah wished for food. Joey wished for comfort, and Patty wished to be home. But the question is, which one of those three got off the mountain? Say that again. <laughs> oh, damn you. I'm not going to say the full thing again. So Sarah, Joey, and Patty, you know, there are three people, and they're all stuck on a mountain. They're sick and hallucinating, and they, they're hallucinating, like, seeing stuff. And they saw a vase, and then they rubbed it, and their genie came out of the vase, right? Oh, I guess. And they each were granted a wish from the genie. He gave all, he, genies only give three wishes. There are three people, one, each person gives a wish. So, Sarah wished for food. The first person wanted food. The second person, Joey, she wanted comfort, like the snuggle people, I guess. And Patty wanted to be home. Like, the last person wanted to get back to their house. But which one of them, which one of them got off the mountain? Third one? No. Yep, I'll give you one more guess. It's just the first one. No. The answer is none of them. I said they are hallucinating stuff. They hallucinated the genie. So they're all still stuck in the mountain. Oh, they're starving to death. Oh. And they're all probably dead right now, so. Oh, here's the fifth one. Who likes Minecraft? You have the answers. Raise your hand. Raise your hand! I can't. Okay, we'll be right back after this commercial break. Dominoes. Yeah, I love playing of dominoes. How do you stack these dominoes up now? Um, don't laugh at me. I'm, I just got my new show called Moon O'Brien. Monday, on a Saturday, on a Sunday, maybe. Ugh, I'll be back when I set up these dominoes.
One more domino. And that's how you make dominoes. Who wants to see me tip it over? Hey, uh, hey horsey. No, don't you dare. No? Don't you dare knock that over, please. I work like 7,000 gazillion billion milliseconds on this. Yeah, that's what you get. That was the news. Yeah, and guessing there's a domino problem. So number five, I guess. That was a funny commercial. I see you watching it and actually right there. It wasn't actually a problem, okay? He's cut copyright. I don't want him to copyright me. Ah, show it, I don't care. Oh, I'm not being so Hmm, okay, well, that's good. Steve had three stacks of cobblestone, okay? You know Steve from Minecraft? He had three stacks of cobblestone, right? Uh-huh. He's had three stacks of cobblestone, right? Uh-huh. He used the stone, so you have to count how much. To build tools, weapons, and a full set of armor. So, how much cobblestone did he use? If he had stone? Yeah. So, stone tools, weapons, and armor. All of that stuff. So, we kind of like pickaxe, hoe. Pun. I didn't think about this one. We'll be right back when he's done thinking, man. Eleven. Eleven? That's your answer? Yeah. Yeah, actually, you're correct. You can't make stone armor. Look at that dumb. I'm not dumb. Alright, well. Let's watch another commercial. Hmm. Oh, crap. Get on my face, camera man. Oh, oh my dominoes. We just still have one more. Oh, that's better. Now we can finally tip it over. Really, dude? Really? For copywriting me, man, I'm gonna kill you over my dead body. You will, Moon O'Brien. Zach, man, I don't know what you're thinking, but I'm gonna go over there and kill you. Ah! ah get off me, you rigid beast! Ah, ah, my arm. Ah, I can't live on anymore. Help me, please. Help me up. I'm gonna restrain you. Ah, don't do that to me. Sure. I'll see you next time. Bye.